Welcome to class 6 physics classes. Today we are going to study measurement of temperature and to measure temperature we should know what is temperature at first. So what is temperature? Temperature is a measure of hotness or coldness of a body. That is to measure how much hot a body or how much cold a body is. When you touch ice you will feel cold and when you drink hot water he will feel hot, isn't it? To measure temperature, we need an instrument called thermometer. There are varieties of thermometer that we use, like digital thermometers. This type of thermometers are fastest and most accurate thermometers. Electronic air thermometers. These are infrared technology to get their temperature reading. Despite being expensive, they are a lot easier to use on babies and young children. Forehead thermometers. These thermometers also read heat using infrared and are placed on the temporal artery. Plastic strip thermometers. These thermometers can detect the presence of a fever in a patient. We just place the strip on the forehead. Pacifier thermometers. These thermometers are used predominantly in babies older than 3 months. Glass and mercury thermometer. These thermometers are the old thermometers to take a temperature. These all are types of thermometers and used by health personals and healthcare departments. To measure the temperature of the day, we use maximum and minimum thermometers. This thermometer indicates the current temperature and the highest and the lowest temperature of the day. Another is a laboratory thermometer. This type of thermometer are used in the laboratory. This thermometer can measure minus 10 degree centigrade as the lowest temperature and 110 degree centigrade as the highest temperature. Okay, let's know a few more things about clinical thermometer. A clinical thermometer is marked from 35 degree centigrade to 42 degree centigrade as the normal temperature of the healthy human being is 37 degree centigrade. If the temperature of human being falls below 35 degree centigrade or rise above 42 degree centigrade, then the person will die. Therefore, it is marked between 35 degree centigrade to 42 degree centigrade. In the picture, the kink you see, it helps to see readings by not allowing mercury to flow back. And clinical thermometer should never be washed with very hot water or placed in the sun as it is likely to break. Now, this figure shows a common thermometer used in laboratories. It is called Celsius thermometer. It has a very fine glass tube having a very small bore called capillary tube. The capillary tube is protected by a thick glass tube called stem. The markings are made on the stem from minus 10 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade. This is a laboratory thermometer. Now, let us see some scales, thermometric scales, Celsius scale. At first, this scale is used to measure temperature commonly. The lowest point or lower fixed point on this scale is 0 degree centigrade. That is the temperature of pure ice to melt. And highest point or upper fixed point is the temperature at which pure water boils. And that is 100 degree centigrade. Standard international scale or Kelvin scale is another scale to measure temperature. Kelvin scale is given by Sir Kelvin. He theoretically calculated that minus 273 degree centigrade is the last limit of temperature. Practically, we have not achieved this temperature. This last limit of temperature, that is minus 273 degree centigrade, is absolute zero or Kelvin zero. And SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. One more scale is there, Fahrenheit scale. The Fahrenheit scale is a temperature scale. The Fahrenheit temperature scale is used in United States. According to this scale, pure water freezes at 32 degree Fahrenheit and pure water boils at 212 degree Fahrenheit. This scale is given by German physicist Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit.